Where's my toys? Gatsby, where'd you put the toys? <gasps> this is my Corgi Gatsby. And these are all of Gatsby's toys sent to us by all of our wonderful fans. And he really loves playing with toys. More playing? You want to play again? In a previous vlog, someone suggested that I hide all of his toys and see what his reaction is. Oh no! I wonder what will happen when we go from this to this. Shall we play Gatsby? What? He's looking for the toys. We gotta use our imagination. Oh. Look at that one. Pull, 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 Gatsby, pull, 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 Gatsby, pull, Gatsby. Here, you want the ball here? Ready, set, go! Did you get it? Bring it back! Come on, Gatsby, bring it back! He's looking for the imaginary ball. He's like, where did it go? Gatsby, it's imaginary. You can pick it up anywhere. <gasps> Look at that! All of your toys! What am I going to do with all my toys? My mountainous toy collection! Where's the toys? Bring it back! He's choosing what he wants. He's selecting his toy. Oh, you got it! You found the toys! You got it! We don't have to rely on imaginary toys anymore. I think it's time for us to start the vlog. <gasps> Is it time for our morning walk? Yep. Okay. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on Ta-da! Do you feel like we got something strong? That's going to be easy also? Today is the day that I go and see my orthodontist. I'm done with my final tray, so we're gonna go and see what he says. I'll see you guys right afterwards. <laughs> I still have my Invisalign on. Okay, now that we're done with all the trays, he gave me actually two more trays, and these are to help like basically close and tighten up all the holes that I have um, in my teeth. And I scheduled my Invisalign takeoff for um, mid-August. And now it's time for a plant update! My pothos plant. <gasps> Ta-da! I just took the next hook. It is more than halfway across the top. I am here with Sambert and Idoline and Gatsby's back there. And we have Gunner <laughs> and Corby all the way in the back. 
we are going to a food uh, festival, the Filipino Bay Area Movement. Is that what it's called? I'm gonna double check. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Corgis. It looks pretty fun. We'll see, I'm hungry, so hopefully there's some good food. What are you gonna get, again? Uh, what is this? There? There's so many different things. On the bottom, I yeah, think. I on the bottom. Wow. The doggies are hydrating. Get them my belly. I want to get chicken inasal. But it's Filipino. So the chicken is like marinated in soda. Sushi. So it's like half California roll and then half Lion King. I never know what Lion King means. Do you know what that means? No. What kind of fish is, a, is that lion fish? No, that's a poisonous fish. <laughs> Got seaweed here. Oh, I think you're supposed to like scoop it and make your own sushi. Yeah. Rice, crab, and salmon. Oh. So I'm just gonna make it. Not oh, bad. It's pretty good. Buko means. Uh, coconut, that's what Idoline said. It's buco-licious. <laughs> oh, it's salmon, that's what the Lion King... Mm -hmm. Because, you know, in, in the Lion King, there's salmon. Hmm? We're getting malasadas, that's like Portuguese donuts. From Hawaii. <laughs> so, banana and coconut? Which one is coconut? I think this is coconut. Sure? I don't know. It tastes like a deep fried Twinkie. I don't taste coconut. It's good though. We're under a tree across the street. Does that taste like coconut to you? Happy Corgis. Wasn't it fun? Wasn't that fun, you guys? <laughs> that was good. I'm I'm full now, so I'm happy. Oh, hi. We are back home. I rearranged all the t-shirts over here. So now I can easily grab everything. These new tie-dye shirts over here take up a lot of space. They're made out of a heavyweight cotton. By the way, a lot of the sun shirts especially are restocked. It says Yatsubi in Japanese right there. I found some more boxes in my storage unit. So if you want to get a specific color or size, make sure to go to corgianfleet.com because they're back in stock. There's six green sun shirts left. It really supports Gatsby and me a lot. I ship everything out myself, so not like another company is making all the money and giving me like a small portion of it. It really is, I'm doing everything myself. On top of that, it's also helping to support a lot of local small businesses because this tie-dye t-shirt is locally hand-dyed. Oh, and don't forget the magnets. Ta-da! <laughs> Chicka 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 <laughs> Today is leg day. I do legs like every three days now and I've been seeing some pretty good results. Right Gatsby? Look at the leg gains. We'll see you guys at the gym. <laughs> He's like, where's all my toys? Where did they go? <laughs> I just made it to the Asian market. I think I'm just gonna make like a Japanese bento with uh, fish and sushi. Sounds pretty good to me. Or I could just buy one of these and we'd be done. And I got some shishito. For the fish, we gotta get a daiko. Have you guys tried this instant boba pack? It's real. Okay, let's get eel day special. Let's eat eel for get power. Very light. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, the king. You want the king one. They all have faces. Have you ever had Patagonia fish in boxes? Are these good? 
This girl looks like Camila Cabello. Dog candy and cat candy. Beepi's like has showing its butt and then there's chocolate there. Royal milk tea for the royals. Okay, I think I'm done. Okay, so I dropped by the aquarium store, but unfortunately they didn't have any fish eggs for the fish, which is what I feed them. So um, I grabbed some from the Asian market. Flying fish roe, which is just 100%, that's like the only ingredient. There's no color added or anything. I'm pretty sure I've done this before. Let's see if they eat it. Fishies, it's time to eat. Here it goes. They're all just like, what? <laughs> the clownfish are so confused. These guys ate it. Look, they're like, oh. Yum. The sailfin tang ate it too. The clownfish were just like, what? What is this? This is like laced with um, garlic, so the fishies really like it. There he goes, grabbing some seaweed off the clip. They're like, oh, food. It's time for us to make a delicious Japanese dinner. So what are we gonna make? I wrote it down. The main entree will be saba, which is mackerel, shioyaki, which is kind of like grilled with salt. We're gonna do that with rice and have a daikon, which is kind of like a radish. Next, we're gonna have either sushi or sashimi. I haven't decided yet. Chicken and pork pot stickers. Then we have shishito peppers. And then we have some um, assorted pickled Japanese vegetables. That sounds pretty good, right? Okay, here's the fish that we got. It was frozen, but I was defrosting it. Kind of just like pour water over it and it defrosts pretty fast. I love shioyaki, the Japanese style. It is like so basic and simple, and yet like you can eat it over and over and it's just like so good. And it's like, it's very, very common in uh, Japanese like bento boxes or like for dinner. And it is dog friendly, so I can make one for Gatsby too, but I can't put the salt on it. I found a trick on how to cook this and make it look like it's grilled. I'll put the video in the description below. Take aluminum foil, as they pointed out, this also makes it super easy to clean up. Yeah. I'm just gonna salt it. Wanna kinda like rub the salt in. Salt. Okay, that's it. So we know Gatsby's is the thinner one there. Gatsby's like, I heard my name. Is there something for me? Maybe. It says it only needs a little bit of oil on the bottom. That's just to make sure that the fish doesn't stick. Yeah. Yeah. We're just gonna do it for six minutes per side. Got pork and chicken gyoza dumplings. Okay, so this should be pretty hot. Two ounces of water. Basically gonna like steam them a little bit. For five minutes. There we go, that looks good. You don't make sushi with hot rice. You want it to be a little bit cooler. This one on top. Ta-da! I think that should be good. It's like homemade. And the fish should be done. Turn it off. Right? Yeah, that is stuff. Daikon, which is like the radish sauce for the fish. A little bit of daikon. I'm gonna grate it. It tastes pretty good with um, the fish. So we wanna see how it got brown there. We just wanna blister them on all the sides. Salt them. Those look really good. Shichimi. This is always good to have. We're peppering the pepper. <laughs> Pot stickers are done. Ta-da! So we have these pickled vegetables over here. But especially this red one. It's super good. Ta-da! You know what? I'm gonna add some to this plate so that we just like fill the plate up. We got everything on one plate here. Beautiful. Our mackerel. Pot stickers, the sushi, shishito peppers, and we have our pickled vegetables. That looks delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna eat so well today. The radish sauce on top. Mm. The radish is a little bit bitter, but when you put the soy sauce on and you eat it with the fish, it like neutralizes it all together. The mackerel is really good though. I cooked it really well. Shishito pepper. Some of them can be spicy, but a lot of them aren't. Oh, that one was really spicy. But you don't know which one you're gonna get. And of course, all of our pickled vegetables. Mmm. It's so sour, it's so good. Mmm. This is so good. And don't worry, 
I did not forget somebody. I double checked Gatsby's fish to make sure that there's no bones inside of it. He's like, I'm ready, I'm ready. What do you think of the fish? You eat it so cutely, huh? We are done eating our dinner. What did you think? Okay, so I had to run off because I had like another meeting for the calendar for next year already. And we've already been planning since um, June. The planning is coming along. It's so much work, you guys. My photographer that does the calendar, he decided that he's retiring. So it's going to be a totally different look for the calendar for this upcoming one. I got a photographer from Japan. I was like such a big fan of this photographer and he agreed to do the photos for the calendar. My birthday is coming up very soon, Gatsby. My birthday. It's going to be my birthday. He's like, my birthday? I wanna first thank everyone who sent me a gift already. That's ridiculous, you guys. Um, you don't need to do that. You know what your gift can be? Buy Corky on Fleek merchandise. That's what one of my friends said. They're like, your birthday gift is I will buy some Corky on Fleek merchandise for myself. <laughs> that would be like the best gift, I think. I'm going to be taking a few days off just so that I can continue working on every everything that I'm working on. There's a lot more than that. And also celebrate my birthday. <laughs> I want to thank everyone so much for watching as always. And we will see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. I recently saw the Pixar movie Luca. And in it, they eat this really delicious looking pesto pasta. And 